again, this is Tina. Welcome back to Model Horses, of course, the unboxing of a collection. Today we have box number three, very exciting. And we have Briar Dogs. Should be fun, let's see what's inside. Our first model for today is the Briar Poodle. This is an interesting model. He, he's very, very heavy. His legs are made of solid plastic. These things are injection molded, and so they tend to be hollow and a little lighter. This guy is much, much heavier. He's one of the heaviest molds because of his solid fuzzy legs. The Poodle mold was made from mid-50s mid through early to mid-70s in the original colors. And this particular guy is called Glossy Black. He is actually cast in black plastic, so he is not painted black. And he only has the red of the collar painted on, the red of his tongue, and then a little tiny white detailing where his little two feet are. So not a lot of actual detail paint work on this guy. Very nice mold. He's made to look like he's made of porcelain. He's actually a copy of the uh, Rosenthal Poodle and really, really pretty mold. A lot of people like this guy and he's in very nice condition. So nice model for number one. Let's see what else we have. We have a Basset Hound. This guy is called alternately Jolly Cholly or the Basset Hound. He was originally released in kind of a brownish, dark brownish color and this is the more, more longer produced uh, tricolor where they have the brown, the white, and the black color. And this guy has um, a little plaque hanging on his chest. This guy says American Inter-Insurance Exchange. This is a little plastic uh, sign hanging on his chest. This, some, some collectors like these guys and collect them. Some people do not consider these original finish. So what happened was sometime during the 70s, around 72, 73, this insurance exchange or group or whatever it was, bought a bunch of these plaques and a bunch of these models and put them on themselves. So they, this chain that's on them is not a briar chain. It's not like one of the chains on any of the Western horses. And these, these plaques were made up for the insurance company itself. These were not considered a Briar product. Some people like them. There's a bunch of different variety of them. Um, and some collectors aren't interested in them because they consider them not original finish. So different, different strokes within the hobby. This guy is actually in very nice shape. He's beautiful, not a lot of rubs, really nice color. And then he has what's called the tri-eye where he has a little black dot on his eye, then a little white, then a little red underneath for a little extra personality. I think he's very cute and he's pretty much the only cartoony type mold that Briar ever made. So nice model, really nice condition. And you don't see these that terribly much. So um, definitely a cool, cool piece. Let's see what's next. Oh, okay. Evidently this collector liked these guys because here we have another one of the signed or models with the little hang tags. You can see they're almost identical models. They have almost identical paint jobs. The little chain that's hanging is identical and the little plastic um, sign piece is identical. This guy is called the American Underwriters Group. So again, it was for uh, a group of many different insurance agencies or underwriters groups that made them as promotional items. And um, he's in really, really nice condition. A few more rubs than the other guy, but overall a really, really nice model. I, I like these guys. They're just adorable. How can you say no to that face? So two of the insurance Basset Hounds. Next we have Honey the Collie. This is on the Lassie Mold, which was originally produced a long time ago, but this particular model being in the plastic box is from the probably late 80s, early 90s. I'm not really familiar with this exact run, 
but I could tell you from the style of box that was about the year they were made. The box is a little yellowed. And if you can see behind him, he has a white piece of paper behind him. Many collectors don't like to keep their models in the boxes because being in the box can actually damage the model. The yellow, the color that's on the cardboard that they're attached to can bleed through onto the model itself. So if you're gonna leave them in the box, a lot of collectors will put that white piece of paper between the model and the box backing so that they don't get that color. They can, however, still get rubs, particularly from the zap straps that hold them onto that cardboard backing and hold them in the box. Boxes really mostly don't add a lot of value. It's an exceptional box that would add any value. So most collectors choose to take their models out of the box. And me in particular, I don't even save these boxes. Just take them out, put them on the shelf, and enjoy them. This model was purchased from True Value Hardware for $18.50. Boy, I wish I could go into my local hardware store and buy Briar still. Those were the days, my friend. And he has the lovely Briar Made in USA sticker back in the olden days. Nice piece. Let's see what's next. Okay, we have another set of twins. We have... The St. Bernard model, this guy was produced early 70s, 72, 73 to the mid 80s in this color. This is the original release color for this model. And we have St. Bernard number two. These are both the original release color. A real astute detail-oriented collector can tell you from the quality of the paint job, what release and what year they were. These two are both fairly similar. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but this guy's definitely more orangey. This guy's a little definitely more brown. And if I was a collector of dogs, I would probably keep both of these because in person they definitely look a lot different. This particular guy has a lot more rubs. He's the orangier guy. He has, again, the tri-eyes where he has the black dot with the white underneath and then a little bit of red for a little bit of personality. It's a really nice mold, much more lightweight than the poodle because his legs are much smaller, so he's mostly hollow plastic. And both of these guys are just adorable. How can you say no to that face? Too cute. So, St. Bernard's. And our last dog is also a St. Bernard. This is Brandy the St. Bernard. And very similar paint pattern, but you can see this model is a lot lighter in color. This is actually a different run than the original St. Bernard was. Yeah, you can also tell, obviously, because they're in the, the plastic 80s, 90s, uh, showcase front box and these guys would have probably come in the brown cardboard mailer boxes and we'll probably get into a few of those as we go along but this is definitely a newer model still in box doesn't have the white backing behind him and don't doesn't say where he's from but he um, is was sold at the discount price of twenty dollars and ninety five cents so a fun box of dogs. We've got lots and lots more boxes to go. So hopefully you'll join me again next week for another adventurous and interesting unboxing. Thank you.